Greetings, YouTube, and welcome back to part two of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with me, your host, HKHD. Uh, when last we left off, we just saved after entering uh, the mines of Narsh. And we're in another battle. Huh. Rats. Had to be rats. Let's go ahead and take care of them all once. Um, oh, the music. Love the music in this game. Novo was just like... Uh, it was a... Ah, oh, crap. I forgot about that. Sorry. Forgot the rats were uh, immune to poison. Ah, oh, rats. That's what I should have said. Ah, oh, rats. Eh, too late now. Eh, magic tech missile. That's right. You little rat, you're gonna get... You little rat! You're gonna end up getting a missile to the face. You're kinda like the Womp Rats back, uh... Back in Bergs Canyon. There's a reference. But yeah, Novo, uh... Was awesome, as many people have said. Um, a lot of the music... Uh, from this, Final Fantasy IV and such... Uh, have always been... Uh, favorites of mine. Stand back. That's right. Let's uh, break down this scaffolding, which could be holding up the ceiling. Yeah, it sounds like a great idea, you know? <laughs> Let's just, you know, just break down the ceiling. What what could go wrong? We're not handing over the Esper. No? What are you going to do about it? Come here. What? That's a stupid name. What the? It's a giant snail. I mean, this thing's a... They must have trained it to guard the mines. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what this is? Ever heard of a lightning whelk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning. And this stores the energy in a shell. Okay. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. And don't use lightning. In case you didn't get that from the, uh, what they said there. Yeah. It seems like every Final Fantasy, I don't know about every, a lot of Final Fantasy have a boss like this, um, where you you can't attack during a certain time, or at least you shouldn't attack during a certain time, or else you get countered. Um, it's usually, like, the first boss. You know, Final Fantasy IV, oh, there, there we go, it's going to go in. Final Fantasy IV had the Mist Dragon, where if you attacked it while it was missed, it would freeze your breath. Uh, Final Fantasy VII had the Guard Scorpion. If you attacked it while its tail was up, it would shoot that stupid laser thingy. Come on! Oh, really? This is getting a bit much. Ah, uh, this boss theme is just awesome. All right, Fire Beam! No, I don't need that. I need Ice Beam! And let's blow a missile your way. I mean, really, a giant snail. Who comes up with that as a monster type? Hey, I mean, you've heard of dire weasels, dire badgers. I have yet to play a tabletop game where I have to fight a giant snail. And now I have an idea for my next tabletop game. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be an evil GM, yes. Oh, too easy. Hey, what happened to the guy? You know, the guy who was standing back here and told the Welk to come forward and fight me. Oh, spritzers. Ah, I'm going to drink you. I'm going to drink you up, you spritzers. And I'm going to be a little bit toasty. Ah. Wish I could better go to work in the morning. Yeah, and then there, there's there's another interesting monster type. It's just a, a, a floating blob of goo. Ooh. It's frozen in ice! So this is the frozen esper. Um, yep. Yeah. Oh, look, it's glowing. Let's get closer to it, because that's a great plan. That always goes well. <laughs> now, I happen to know exactly what esper this is. This thing's giving me the creeps. Something's not right. Yeah, well, considering it's glowing. Maybe you should tell her to get back. She is under your control with the slave crown. Maybe maybe you should tell her to get back. 
I, you, maybe you should... Oh, well. Sorry, Wedge. You weren't supposed to die. Biggs is... Kind of funny that Biggs and Wedge kind of becomes a, a, a thing in other Final Fantasies and then, you know, started off in Star Wars. Star Wars is awesome. Ooh, pretty blue light. And explosions! Explosions! And then black screen. Okay, so now I get to decide how to name the characters. Because I am going to do that. I'm going to name characters. Hmm, I can just lay here. That's right, I'm just going to lay here. I know I can move. Don't tell me I can move. I know I can move. You, you want me to move? Really? <sighs> Fine, I guess I'll get on with the game. Hey, how you doing? Wh where am I? My, my, and I just removed the crown. My head hurts. Yeah, I almost blended those two voices together. Hey, look at that thing. Easy there. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts. Making it so you'd do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. In time, that is. In case you haven't noticed, I kind of like doing voices. And uh, as I get more comfortable with Let's Playing... Uh, I will probably have more of my voices come out and such. But for now, I'm just kind of trying to ease in there. A mysterious young woman born with the gift of magic and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. I will name her... Well, I can't do the name I want to do. In case you're wondering why. If I, want, if I could, I would name her... Well, I still will name her after it. Uh, I would name her after one of my most powerful Pathfinder characters, a uh, female paladin who goes by the name of <gasps> Her Majesty the Queen, Francesca Eris Feyfire, I'm sorry, Francesca Eris Wallace Feyfire Von Igorian, Paladin Jenner of Yomade. Now, I know some of you right now are looking at me kind of funny, and not because I played a female character. No, no. It's because I mentioned the Von Igorian. Let's just say, long story short, after a campaign, she kind of ended up being the Queen of Cheliax. A paladin. Queen of Cheliax. Go figure! So, since I can't fit all of Francesca, I will instead do... Uh, if I spell it right. Numbnuts. Uh, da, da, da. I will call her Cheska. And Francesca was spelt with uh, C-E-S-C-A uh, as her name. My name is Seska. Cheska. Impressive. Never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of tougher stuff than most. Yeah, I'm badass. I'm half Esper, but you don't know that yet. Oops. Spoilers? Ah, this game's been out long enough. It's kind of like stating that Sephiroth is... No, no. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, well. Open up. We're here for the Magitek Armor Pilot. Doo -doo -doo. Open this door right now and hand over the girl. She's an agent of the Empire. Empire? Magitek Armor? Now, the funny thing is I named her Francesca, or I named her Cheska after Francesca. Uh, the funny thing of that is Francesca's image uh, for any gameplay that I did with her in uh, Pathfinder. I used an online thing for that. Um, the The model of her was basically um, uh, lightning from Final Fantasy XIII too. So, pink hair, not green. Uh, no time to explain. Yeah, the wrong voice. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't going to last. Uh, listen to reason. Well, you know what? This way, quickly. I'm not going to listen to reason either. Wee. Wee. I got an elixir. It's almost like I knew that was there. How could I know that? Maybe I click 
this game a few too many times. Make your way out of town, through the mines. I'll try to buy you some time. Oh, forget about the voice this time. That old man is, uh... Not part of the group for very long. Up there! Oh, great. How you doing? Um... No, no, stay in the back row. Stay in the back row. Uh, by the way, since I, I am playing this in emulator, like I said, um, I am not going to be using save states. Uh, and yeah, I can already see in the comments now, uh, some of you are probably wondering, um, will I be attempting Kefka's Tower? Or not Kefka's Tower, the, um, the Zealot's Tower. Yeah! Yeah, I did it before. It takes a very long time. I will not make you guys sit through the entirety of it. I think when I played it, even with fast forwarding, I timed it. Um, it was like something like half an hour to 45 minutes in one battle, just, just at the top. Because you, you have to do some bullshit trying to um, keep the get the boss's MP down without him dying. So that his uh, ultimate doesn't go off to kill you. Because, you know, it'll do that. Um, all right, we have reached our second save point, so I am going to go ahead and save it here. Awesome. Possum. Doo -doo. And I'm going to have to end it here in a minute or two. I don't want to go over time. No, I won't use my magic. I'll just slice. Slice. Do -do 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 -do. More spritzers. And this time, well, yeah, I, I guess I won't drink that one either. Just kind of kill it. Gain a level! Woohoo! See, the other great thing about doing a uh, natural magic game is I don't have to worry about waiting to level characters up. Because in a standard game, one way that you can play, and I'm not saying this is the only way, one way you can play this game is you wait to level your characters until you get espers because espers grave you uh, stat bonuses. Um, I don't have to worry about that. I can just level the characters up. No, I'm not playing a low magic game, or not low magic, a uh, low level game. Um, the reason being low level games just make you have to, in my opinion, exploit the game in order to beat it. And I don't like to exploit it. I want to actually beat it on my own merits. We are approaching time. I think I will uh, finish this fight out. Actually, I'll just go ahead and pause it here. Uh, I am going to end the episode right here for the day. Well, for, for, for right now. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, hope you're enjoying so far. I'm trying not to be too rambly and stupid. Um, uh, if you're liking it, subscribe. Or not. You know, like I said, I'm just kind of doing this for fun. Uh, and hoping uh, to eventually make sure you guys have some fun there. Uh, so, from my girly poo, Seska, or Cheska. Jessica, Jessica. For my girly poo Jessica to you, uh, I will see you guys in the next session. See you later!